my relationship has been for three years. The, brother, the veterans, I think singularly, along with, um, with the elderly, have brought this business back to life. Everybody has a story. And I ask this, honest to God, this one veteran one day, tell me your story. And that's when everything happened. So when I was approached by Lori Seidlinger and said, Honor Flight of Maine, and I said, geez, I've heard of that, but I, I don't know what that is. And she told me, and I said, well, why don't we do a benefit? And uh, I think it's gonna be a huge, I know it's gonna be a huge event, and it's no small undertaking, but worth every single second for the people that have done everything for us. And for the next couple of hours, you're gonna have people, blankets, frolic, music, great food, um, to help send some gentlemen to, uh, to Washington, D.C. to see the wall for the first time, the memorial for the first time, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier for the first time, some not for the first time, some for the last time. That's the best part of what's going on here today, is it's like these stories are gonna be legacies. If I have anything to say about it, keep people talking about what it is that made this nation great how many sacrifices they've made, the honor that was uh, so palpable back then. And I want to be able to be at least one tiny little part of being a spokeswoman lady for that. And to help remember Frankie, Frankie's fanfare, Mr. Tuttle, 75 years ago, he lost his best friend. And he wants, he wants us to remember Frankie. Well, I'm a World War II veteran. I flew 50 missions over to Southern Italy I got wounded on my second mission. I got shot down on my 40th mission. And I bailed out over enemy territory. And uh, I was rescued by a patrol from the British 8th Army. They came across the lines and brought me back. And uh, I had to fly 10 more missions. And I told myself, I can't, I can't do it, you know. I, don't, I was scared to death. I lost my best buddy that day. That's that Frank you see on the marquee out there. He's, he's my buddy, he, he, gets, he gets killed today, I get shot down. And uh, oh, oh, it's, ter it's, it's terrible, really. That was 75 years ago, and you don't forget stuff like that. So here I am, here I am in all my sartorial splendor. <laughs> I lost my son Ryan Mullins in a tragic accident a couple years ago. Um, and this is a way that myself, uh, my family, um, we partner with um, folks that, um, such as Laura, that's passionate about giving back to the community and looking to those that need that little extra help to be able to enjoy something. My son completely enjoyed the outdoors. So um, we have partnerships in progress that will help kids that um, couldn't necessarily enjoy the outdoors that are gonna be able to do that. This is my first event with Laura. Um, but I have been coming to the Red Barn for probably 37 years now, um, since, since the Red Barn was in the reverse. Um, this is our first. We have another one that's coming up, and Laura and I have big plans to do some more things. So I'm very excited to be, I'm very excited to be working with her. She's a, a beautiful soul, and um, my son would thoroughly enjoy talking to her. To me, it's a lot more than that. It's a sense of community. I feel that food builds community. I have a great product, and I suffered for 35 years wondering how I was going to keep that product available and to keep in business. And then it started with one story, and that's what life's all about, is leaving each other with a little better feeling than we had before we met. That's how I feel. That's how I run this business, and quite obviously, it's working. <laughs>